One thing that is very noticeable, I'm on the corner now, Wall Street and South Street. So a block south of South Street Seaport, a couple blocks south of South Street Seaport. There's a very strong odor of oil, diesel oil, oil fuel. So that can't be good. Now this water I'm assuming is from the water being pumped out of these buildings. That's 120 Wall Street right there. And here is the East River right here. So I'm assuming they have a very short wall here, so it's probably not that difficult for the water after the surge to get up here, although there is a couple of steps here. Let's take a look. But look, the, this water is still right up to the wall here. Wow. Holy cow, look at this, it's still coming over. The water's still coming over this wall. And there's oil here, I see, all slick. Look how high this water is. All right, so that's Manhattan a little bit to the right here, the yellow area. But across the way, that's Brooklyn, that's the BQE. Lots of traffic. Only way for people really to get into Manhattan is by car. I don't know if any buses are running from uh, Manhattan to Brook uh, Brooklyn to Manhattan. That's the Brooklyn Bridge near, and the bluish bridge in the back is the Manhattan Bridge. And you can see that there was a lot of overrun of water here, because look at all the dirt on the concrete. And that's South Street right over there with the ship and the Brooklyn Bridge in the background. You can see the FDR sign up top for the Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Civic Center. But there is a little sun. There is a little sun in the distance, so through darkest days, the sun will rise.